I couldn't let the bacon thing go. He's got a formula for why. That's what we're talking about. My wife hates this. She also hates the way I cook bacon. You were laying some knowledge down. I've been Go. pondering this for an inordinate amount of hours. Go ahead. Tell us all about it because I believe I in, realize I believe it in looks you. like I'm wearing the same shirt. I just have five of these. It's hot in here. It is kind of hot in it's here. It's always hot in here. It might be because you're angry. It is because we talked about bacon okay. and how I make it the right way and she doesn't. Right. And I we, mean my wife. Right. We talked about how bacon burnt to a crisp it's not it's right. It's not right. It's not even bacon anymore. Okay. It's cardboard. But there seems to be this this correlation between your wife and my life. Which is? They like Which is I'm willing to bet that your wife mm -hmm. believes that there is more than one way to cook a steak. Oh God. Yes. It's called um putrefication, putrefication or burning okay. it. Now, my wife also believes that there are multiple ways in which a steak can be prepared. There's only one. <laughs> but it seems like because my wife believes that there are multiple ways in which you can make a steak, which mm. there's not. Which is not. But she still asks for it that way were, were she to get steak, which she doesn't anymore because she might she as well have better. fish. Right. Right. Might as well have sushi, which we call bait. But my wife also likes her bacon burnt to a crisp. And it seems like your wife and my wife have that in common. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if there is a mathematical formula in which we can figure out through, through, through experiences that maybe you've had mm -hmm. and then experiences that I've had mm -hmm. with my wife and, and you've had with your wife where they might have more things in common because they both believe that there are multiple ways in which they, a steak can be prepared. So talking about meat like that, yes. She thinks like a hamburger cannot have any pink whatsoever for her. None. But see, we're still on meat. So right. I think that that yeah. that one is just going to be true. A little all pink the way is okay. Now my wife will not. No, she won't even touch it. If, 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 no, I mean I'll have to put it back there until it comes yes. back like a hockey puck. Yes, like a hockey puck. Like a hockey puck. Yes, but see the interesting thing is your wife mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. likes football. Yes, she does. And my wife likes football. Wait a minute. Your wife loves way overcooked bacon. My wife loves. Way over could be. Does your wife care what kind of car she drives? I think so. Like she, like if you said, "Honey, mm -hmm. let's get a new car for you," mm -hmm. would she know exactly what she wanted? No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. She'd say SUV. Right. Okay, that's fine. Because my wife would say the same thing. Because we have kids. Right. So not getting an Is SUV doesn't enough? make a whole lot of sense. Right. 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 Okay. Holy crap! We're onto something here. Keep so. Going. If you, if I asked you that question, yes. Josh, here here is a sum of money that is more yeah. than you will need to buy mm -hmm. the car because mm -hmm. we're not talking like some exotic car. Oh yeah, 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 right. Here's more than enough money you would need mm -hmm. so you can pay cash on the spot for this for the car that you wanted. Would you know exactly what you would buy? Absolutely, <laughs> Me <too>. without a <laughs> doubt. And it, I would I, there would be two that I would be fighting over. It would either be a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, because yeah, yeah, or a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro Off-Road 4x4. That's okay. Great car. I know exactly what I'd, I'd want. It'd be a hard choice, but I would probably go that Rubicon all day. Uh-huh. Like that would that. actually be my second choice. It'd mm -hmm. be my, it, it would be my first choice, although it's not. Because I guess if I said I had this lump sum of money, mm -hmm. right? I have this lump sum of money, but I still have to think in practical terms because I have two little ones. Right, family. But it, 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 hands down, hands down, mm -hmm. mid-engine Corvette. Ooh. See, that is the most yeah. beautiful car that is, exists right now. And those new ones they just put out are like... And they finally got to the point where beautiful. now you can order them as, as Corvettes are meant to be, which is convertible. <sighs> Breathe it in. Does your wife like gardening? Oh, God, yes. Hmm. 
She lives for There's it. another thing that we have As in though common. It is like, and she assumes that I love it too. You know, <laughs> she's like, let's go I outside don't. and work in the yard. And I'm like, don't. great. Does, does your wife like going and experiencing the leaves change colors in the fall? Are you in my head right now? This is really weird. The answer is, see, yes, let's go take pictures. Because this dawned on me. Does your, I'm guessing your wife is not a skier. Not at all. Won't even touch it. It's dangerous. You're freaking me out, man. This came to me again Whew. because I couldn't let go of the fact Whew. that out of nowhere in the last podcast, yeah. you made a mention unprompted. Now, we were talking about happy husband bacon. Yeah. And right. Bacon hit. But we weren't we weren't talking about the way in which you can prepare bacon. No. But you went there. Oh, yeah. Because it's important. And I've been thinking about it since that moment. And it, and it dawned on me that, that the reason that my wife hates this is because a lot of the things that you say out loud mm -hmm. pass through my brain. I just don't say them out loud. I clearly don't have a filter. We've established that. Which means that it's probable mm -hmm. that you and I have very similar world views hmm. which means that our wives probably do as well like they have things in common this is weird correlation stuff man it's really weird didn't you say weird. at one point in time that your wife because i know you you were a musician yes did she she was okay and i know what your wife does for a living mm -hmm. that's what my mother-in-law does for a living really this is like Twilight Zone stuff. Man, I don't, I don't like this. This is weird. Does your wife know where she wants to go for dinner when you ask her where she wants to go for dinner? Oh, dear God. What have we done? Because mine's like, why don't we go here? I was like, right. Does your, your, even though your wife knows where she wants to go, uh -huh. does she do that hesitation thing where she wants to make sure that it's okay, that you didn't like adamantly want to be somewhere else? Yes. And when she gets there... Does she look at the menu and pretend that she's going to get something else, but then get the same thing that she gets at the same place? Because you know it's going to happen. And you could order for her, but you don't. Because mm -hmm. if you did, crap would hit the fan. When you go to your favorite restaurant and you know exactly what you're going to get because that's why you go there. Yeah. Does your wife give you a hard time about how you always order the same thing? Every time. But then so does she? Yes. <laughs> My God. We're on to something here. There's some sort of marital formula you've gonna, stumbled upon, I'm going you mad to, genius. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to do some more pondering on this. Yes, this 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 is um Because remember, our wives sat with each other for a little bit at the holiday party. They did. But they had never met. Had they? I can't do this anymore. You owe me an explanation. You know who you are, not you you <laughs> i'm a little freaked out i gotta admit i knew it was gonna happen eventually <sighs> Do you, does your wife hate video games <laughs> she's never i don't think she's ever played a video game in her life <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Why? hey wait wait before we go though yes just remember what that because i didn't even have anything to do with this I had nothing to you do You stumbled it. upon it, though. No, no, I'm saying. I'm about to say something. Okay. Right? Okay. We know that our wives have something very, very important that's not that they don't have in common. My lovely wife loves Star Wars. And you done messed it up for years. If you like what you've seen here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Because every time we point something out that I ruin in my life, we want you to be informed. Ding, 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 ding. Ring the bell, check it out, watch me throw my entire marriage out the window because that's apparently what I've been doing for an eternity now. That's how long we've been married. <laughs> you just...
You love that I just shovel. Can't. I just you can't. love the shovel. Oh, God. But do subscribe to our channel. Watch all the fun things we do. Also, head over to ourcommunitynow.com where you can see the story that they're going to write about my wife who has me thrown off of a cliff because of all the things that I say. But we usually don't follow, go with stories like that. So if you want to watch stuff that's actually, and read stuff that's actually good and productive, we'd have that at ourcommunitynow.com. Although we probably would carry a story about how I ruin everything. Because that's what our writers do. They know who I am. But guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of My Wife Hates This. Clearly, she hates this. I'm Josh. He's... Mid-engine Corvettes are so sexy. Broom, broom. Guys, you know how it goes. We'll see you next time.